I'm fortunate enough to meet all our homeowners and hand off the keys to them. And the feeling I get is, wow, it's gratifying. There's times where things are going, uh, it's up and down in the home building industry, but there's one thing that I always go back to and it's seeing the homeowners get their house for the first time and it makes it worth it. For someone not being able to own a home, for us, it puts things in perspective and it makes you realize some of the things you take for granted. Like it's an impossible dream for them, which we take that we're supposed to have a house. So I think it's one of those things that uh, you know, reminds you that you're lucky, uh, you're fortunate, and a lot of us don't know about the importance and the situation that's out there with homelessness and even just to be able to eat once a day. We picked Hockey Helps the Homeless in support of the Mustard Seed and the Jasper Place Health and Wellness as we felt that this charity aligned with what we do, what our passion is. That's building homes for people that can afford it. But what about the people that can't afford the home? Why can't they have that opportunity? And what can we do to help them? Edmonton's a fantastic community. We're a resilient community. In some sense, Cameron Homes, we're a community builder, and we believe that everyone should be included and part of that. Everyone deserves a second chance and a third chance. But remember, a lot of people in these situations weren't even given a first chance. Throughout this pandemic, I guess I've just had a greater sense of gratitude in my life, having a home, having a meal, still having a job. And my heart aches for the less fortunate, you know, what they're doing in these times right now. And I think that's why it's super important that we don't waver in our commitment to our community. Our community needs us now more than they ever have. As a business, as a human being, you know, let's, let's put our hands out and let's try and help them. I put us in their shoes and that if we needed the help, you know, we'd, we'd be praying that there would be somebody there to lend a hand. Uh, to help us out with uh, getting a meal. So I really think it's our responsibility because they didn't choose to be there and uh, there's not much difference between them and us. And so I think we're just doing what we're supposed to do.